Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Welcome to the glorious Jumeirah Golf Estates. I'm at the European Tour Performance Institute and welcome to another episode on the ball flight characteristics. The main reason for this little kind of mini series this month is looking at how the ball is reacting to your shot. Really, really important for any golfer that wants to improve is to understand why the ball does what it does. Ultimately, we control that but we need to kind of maybe throw a few myths to the side and actually physically understand what makes that ball shape the way it shapes. And today we're gonna to be talking about golfers that hit the ball too high. And I'm gonna give you three very specific reasons why we'd hit the ball too high from my experience from coaching. And also I'm going to abolish one of those really big pet hates of mine, that annoying myth of We'll come to it, we'll come to it. I hate it. Okay, so first characteristic of hitting the ball too high is weight transference. Okay, so if you can imagine any sort of sport, any sport that involves a ball where we lean back, the ball will naturally go higher into the air, okay? So for example, if I come into a, if I set up with a golf shot nice and neutral, I've got a six iron in my hand. If I set up nice and neutral, but I come, I sway off the ball to my right side and come back into the ball from here. You can tell that the shaft of the club is leading away, but also because of my spine angle, which is now tilted away from the target, and my shoulder plane, which is now my shoulder line, which is now pointing up to the sky, that's therefore going to encourage the loft on my golf club to increase. Okay, so if I start in this position, but I come back to the golf ball in this position we're generally gonna be encouraging a higher ball flight. Also, what you will find from there anyway is a very difficult, it's gonna be very difficult to strike the ball consistently because the club will actually want to land sooner. And by the time it comes to that ball, it'll be just picking it off the surface. So again, you may notice that you're not a golfer that takes divots. You're a golfer that really kind of just brushes the ground, but picks the ball off very, very cleanly. You're a greenkeeper's best friend basically. So as we take the setup here, we want to make sure that we're not in that position because that's going to hit the ball far too high. Another characteristic for hitting the ball too high, and this very much comes under the umbrella of too much spin on your golf shots. So even for golfers that move across the left side really nicely and, and transfer the body weight and get the spine angle to the left side of the ball, we can still hit the ball too high. Okay, so I see a lot of golfers that get across to here, they feel like they're compressing it, they actually hit nice divots as well, but they say, why is my ball going too high? Why is there too much backspin on the ball that's elevating that ball up so high? And the answer is shaft angle, the shaft lean at impact. We may be able to get across there, we may turn, we may get the shaft angle, uh, the, the spine angle really good and the shoulder, play, the shoulder line really good, as opposed to being back here on the, on the right foot or the back foot, but if the hands have released that club too soon, then again, we're gonna be picking the ball off the surface. So I might be in a great position there with my lower body and my, and my rotation, but if my hands are in line with my right leg, and hands are in line with the back leg, and they're releasing that club too soon, straight away you can see the shaft lean is kind of almost at a 90 degree angle to the ground rather than towards the target. And therefore my loft angle is gonna to be too high. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit down on the ball with a lot of loft. That's the two elements to hit the ball up very high with lots of backspin. So if you're a golfer that feels like you do get across to your left side, but you're, like, you're potentially releasing that club too soon. Shaft lean needs to be ideally more in line with the left thigh, the inside of the left thigh, rather than the right thigh. This is a common fault that I see a lot. Spend a lot of time moving the lower body towards the target, rotating, transferring the weight. But if those hands release too soon, shaft angle is going to be back where we want, from where we want it to be. And the loft angle is going to be too high as well. Number three comes down to swing path. Okay, so we've got, we've got three swing paths. We've got the neutral one, which let's be fair, no golfer in the world has, has that because no golfer swings 0.0, .0 degrees. So we've got the out to in, or the in to out swing path, okay? And out to in is the most common one for a high ball flight. Because as we go up to the top of the backswing, as the club starts to come back down here, the angle of attack steepens, and it's very, very difficult 
to therefore get ahead of the ball. Golfers that swing from out to in, you can hit the ball low, because what will happen is you'll get the body across, you get the shaft lean, you'll generally hit the ball low, and it could potentially go left, but you can hit low fades. That's not a shot. That's that. I'm not saying you can't do that shot. I'm saying that the most common shot that I see when I'm teaching is golfers that swing from out to in, therefore then struggle with weight transference, and they struggle with an impact position that's strong enough to give a nice penetrating ball flight. So as they come back down, club moves on the outside, cuts across the ball, maximum loft, shaft angle straight, no weight transference, and the ball takes off high with spin and moves off towards the right-hand side. So that will also encourage a high ball flight and definitely a loss of distance, okay? So we're not, we're not optimizing the speed that you may have created because the shaft of the club or the club head is cutting across the ball. The, sh the body weight rarely moves through the shot and the shaft angle rarely leans towards the target. So number three is almost the first two elements with the out-to-in swing path in there as well. That myth that I spoke so passionately about at the start is lifting your head. Guys, there's no, the, I've never ever seen a golfer in 10 years of coaching lift their head. Doesn't happen. And if anyone sat at the screen, that's saying, but I did. It's, it's, it's not, he didn't. Um, what generally happens is as a golfer comes back on the, as the weight transfers to the right side and the spine angle tilts away, you can imagine now my spine, as I turn my head up with the ball, with the shoulders, the first thing you're gonna see is the sky. Okay, so your weight is back, your spine angle is back, and you're looking up to the sky. Head up is that. That doesn't happen. What happens in the golf swing? Because it's so instinctive, because we are basically on the downswing, we're very subconscious into the, into the ball. We can't really control everything we're doing it, whether it's anything from 60 to 100 miles an hour, we don't fully have full control. So from this instance here, is very subconscious and this bit is where the shoulders bring the upper body where the shoulders bring the head if i swing and get the weight to my left side and rotate i'm just looking on this line if i swing and put my weight on my back foot and lean away i'm looking at this line so although you've not physically lifted your head you have to need to be aware that your spine angle your weight transference and or your swing path was the one that was at fault so it can be great feedback if you if someone says to you oh Johnny, you lifted your head, okay? You didn't, but you need to be able to resemble, you need to be able to relate it to an area of your swing that would have caused somebody else to say you lifted your head, or it would have caused you to feel like you lifted your head, okay? So identify what that is, and then even when someone says it, you know it's not correct, but you know how to relate it to what is correct, and that's the important thing, okay? So, you didn't lift your head. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped. I hope this has helped golfers that hit the ball too high to understand why they've hit it too high. Then when you understand the why, you can understand the process to improving that ball flight. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Ball flight characteristics, we've got one more video to go and then we'll be moving into a new series next month. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Three videos a week coming out at the moment. Also follow me on my social media platforms to stay updated. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you soon.